friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today I'd like to play a game I call What's in the Box from Brex. Brex is, you guys know it, one of the most popular home gardening websites, and they offer some amazing varieties, some of which I'm going to talk about today, including an exclusive plant that is only available from Brex this year. I am going to check it out. All right, got my little cutter thing. I'm going to take off this. What's in the box from Brex? That should be like their theme. Okay, let's discover. Planting guides, always love those. Oh my goodness, we have some paprikash, Siberian iris plants. We have one of those, we have two of those. Oh, oh, what's happening? We have dahlia tubers, we have Happet Daydream dahlia, which is a ball dahlia. Oh my gosh, this is a tri-color one with white, yellow, and deep pink. I have never grown this one before. That's exciting. There are some beautiful, healthy tubers in here. And we also have a mixture of dinner plate dahlias. I love dinner plate dahlias. Oh my goodness, Thomas Edison dahlia. I have been wanting this one. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous dahlia. Oh wow, that's exciting, okay. A decorative dahlia called Zorro. Oh, love it. Oh, another one, Zorro. And then more, two more clumps of the Thomas Edison dahlias. These tubers look great. These are clumps too, they're not individual tubers. And then another cl two clumps of the Habit Daydream one. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, we have some cone flowers. We have white perfection cone flower. These are absolutely beautiful, and these are perennials. The dahlias, I'll have to lift in my zone because I'm zone 4B and dahlias are not hardy to that. Here is another white cone flower. Ooh, I'm excited to get these in the ground. A third cone flower. Oh my gosh, this box is just, here is another Siberian iris that's packed in here. We have some peony roots. Oh my goodness. And these last ones that are in the box are new to me. They're called Fuego Helleniums. They're perennial, down to zone three, so I'm excited about this one. They look beautiful, I have to find a spot for these. So there are three of those in here as well. And also included in here is Brex food for bulbs and perennials, and there are directions for use on the back. Basically, you sprinkle it in the hole when you're planting these things. Uh, these are gonna be amazing additions. I'm gonna be putting a lot of these in the ground uh, this week, along with all the other stuff that I have to put in the ground. Except for these dahlias. The dahlias I have to hold off uh, at least three weeks before I plant dahlias. Whew. Ooh, I'm excited about these dinner plate ones. I don't have a lot of dinner plate varieties, um, but I do love them and they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how they fit these in because this is how I end up putting it back. <laughs> but if we're being completely honest, the plant that I am most excited about from Brex is, I don't know if you guys got the catalog, it's the front cover. It's the Frozen Queen Calla Lily. It is exclusive to Brex in the United States and Canada for this growing season. So they sent it to me a couple of weeks ago to try out and I have five of these bulbs, they're right here, and I'm gonna plant them today. So this is a Calla Lily that has the most beautiful variegated foliage. I cannot even get over it. It's almost like you don't even need the flower for it to be a statement, but then this flower emerges and it's absolutely stunning. So this calla lily can be grown in the ground, but it also makes a good house plant or a potted plant. And that is what I'm going to do today, just to make sure that I protect it from the deer around here. So I am going to be planting them in these pots and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this package says to plant them about three inches deep. So I filled these pots with potting soil. These are recycled pots from plants that I bought last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant the bulbs about three inches down. They did start to sprout. That way I know <laughs> which way they face. This has one, two, three. They have three or four beautiful eyes that are coming up. Five of them come in a package. So I have all five of them in the pots and now I'm going to fill them, top them off with the potting soil and then give them a little bit of water. So these kale lilies will grow 16 to 18 inches tall and they will flower in midsummer. So these are not perennial in my zone. So that's also another reason why I like to do it in these pots here because then I can just bring them inside to overwinter and I don't have to worry about lifting them and trying to find where they're located. 
in the ground. I am one bucket full short. Let me fill this up. Okay, now I'm going to be able to top this one off and then I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of a drink from the hose and then we will see. They're already sprouting so it shouldn't take too long to see them come up from the soil. But like I said, they are flowering in the midsummer. But even before they're flowering, that foliage, I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go and bring these down into my grow room and let them get a head start down there. It's the perfect temperature down there. These prefer to be between 65 and 75 degrees and that is what the temperature in the basement is. So I think they'll love it down there. Ooh, it's quite heavy now. Hey, don't mind me, we're tripping in here. Whoa, everything's all over. So there they sit. They will hang out down here until they sprout and it gets a little bit warmer outside. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted on the progress of all of the things that I unboxed today, but especially that frozen queen kale lily. I am not gonna be able to take my eyes off of her. I already know it. Anyway, Brex is offering my followers 10% off and free shipping. All you have to do is use my code Flower Hill Farm. The link is in the description below. Anyway, guys, got a lot to do, and I'm thinking about bringing you guys back down into the seedling room because as you just saw, there's been a lot of progress. So hopefully I'll give you guys that video this week. Thanks for playing What's in the Box from Brex. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. With about three inches left to the top, and the chickens are here, obviously. Ladies, you're being too noisy. I'm getting cut off. There's hawks flying, huh? Maybe that. Yes. How about we do this? <laughs>